Scott. Call before it's split. Nah, nah, just let it hit the ground. Do you want to see that? Yes, it. it is. Oh, good luck, boys. As you can see, Scott Lucas winning the toss in the absence of Matthew Lloyd, who's out with that hammy. Yes, and it'll kick to the right of screen. That hamstring, it's the same hamstring for Matthew Lloyd. Real concerns for him. The calf muscle of Chance Bateman just hasn't come up. It's already happening at centre-half, back between the Essendon and Hawthorne boys. It's on for young and old. This is going to be some sort of game. News elsewhere just regarding another player with player misbehaviour in the news. Ray Hall from the Richmond Footy Club, involved in a barroom dispute over on Friday night, has been suspended for three games by the club. That will come into force when he's available for selection and has been pinged with a $5,000 fine. Boys, it's going to be all happening on the field and off it today. Good luck with the call. Well, they don't like each other. That's a certain knowledge from all concerned in football world. Look at them go. Hodges into it. Welsh is in there. Monfries. It's on for young and old at the MCG. Arch enemies. Hawthorne Essendon. I'm tipping the Hawks. Michael, who are you going for? I'm going for Essendon. I think the Bombers as well. Uh, gee, it promises to be a cracker. What a great start. It's about all he can do in footy these days is bump. So about to get underway here. At the MCG, it's been on Hurley. Essendon versus Hawthorne. Play on. Well done by Campbell. Gets it down, no but chance, mine. An immediate Thank you. Thank bounce you. again. Thanks. Jason Johnson, great to see him back for the Bombers. And a big matchup for this game is Buddy Franklin and McPhee. He's going with him all the way. Chance for Hurd. Well done, Jason Bye. Johnson. Gets the first clearance towards half forward. Well done. Great work from Murphy. Franklin. Starting across the midfield, all his handball was astray. Chance here for Lovett, runs to 45. Can he kick the opening goal? He can! Now, there's a free kick here. The goal, now, what's going to happen? I think it's going to come out of the centre. Umpire McBurney, you can see. He's going to award a free kick, I think, to Hawthorne. Yeah, Franklin was decked off the ball, Chris O, after the goal was kicked. So the free kick will start from the centre 50 uh, for Hawthorne. And, Michael, that's what you're talking about, the skills of the Hawthorne players under pressure. And that's costly to be able to have that turnover early in the game when you're trying to set a standard for yourself. And, of course, the Essendon players go rub that in to Buddy for missing that handball. So Mitchell's got it for the Hawks in the middle of the MCG. A long, penetrating kick. Working under the ball was Crow. Now Mark Johnson in the true centre-half back position. Handball's over to Big Laycock. Now to the run of Winderlich, who's started this season well. Back today to half forward. Lucas got to beat a couple. Can't do so. Campbell Brown, he won't mind it rough and tough. He goes short, looking for Sewell. Can't take the mark. Back to Brown. Now the chance, uh, the Hawks here to use the football correctly. Crawford will switch it out wide. Good vision. And away they go. This is Birchall. He can almost run all the way here, Birchall. He goes short and he finds Crow who drops an absolute put. That's a shocker from Trent Crow. It should have nailed that one. And the Bombers out of trouble. Stanton across half back. Delivers out wide. And he's got Monfries. Just forward of the centre wing. Handball. Oh, gee, Stanton had to prop and away. Gave the Hawks a real opportunity. McGlynn, brilliantly done though by Monfries. Put his head down. No free kick forthcoming. And they tie it up. Umpire letting it go. Mumphreys eventually it comes clear. And the umpire's really letting it go early stages. And contested footy. Surely he's got a call for it now. Ironically, just as Lovett was about to break free. Well, Trent, Trent Crow's just got to snaffle that. I mean, that's as easy as it comes. Mm. Yeah, they're gimmies. So Crawford wins the ball for the Hawks. Over to McGlynn. A long ball. Fletcher read it beautifully. And he's got plenty of time to use it. Just a little chip to the wing and to McVeigh. Back to Fletcher. And he's just knocking up getting kicks this season. Inside 50 again, Lucas is double teamed. And that's what we'll see quarters for most of the game. Hodges playing on the halfback flank. He's been picked up by Welsh at the moment, but he'll continually float in front of those big forwards. Brown has Lucas, so that is a big match up for Brown. Campbell decisively. Little fumble from Lewis. Ball still in dispute. Well done, Campbell. Crawford, quick hands, Franklin, Ladson, and now Guira. Under pressure. Dangerous kick across the ground, but it's okay. It comes off, and the mark's taken by Gillum. Half back for the Hawks. 
wide to Sewell. What a year he's having, following on his third in the best and fairest last year for the Hawks, Brad Sewell. Great kick. And has Lesson. heard today, has heard today also as a matchup. Dropping into space, chips it. Crowed again on the lead. Well done, Michael. That muscled him. Dixon, clever. Oh, handball behind Boyle. Should have been in front. Boyle fights on. Numbers, though, with the Bombers. And love it. Breaks free with blistering speed. And the short kick, Peveril. Couldn't handle it, but gets the handball from Jason Johnson. And now Winderlich. Little fumble. Allows Franklin in, but Winderlich did very well. Love it. Good pressure, though, by the Hawks. Now Stanton. Stanton kicks towards Welsh in good position and he marks 45 from goal. Thought about going on with it and chose correctly to go back. There wasn't much on offer and Andrew Welsh a chance from just inside 50. Well he was able to get that and float off his man and get the third up jump and that's the Hawthorne players just zoning back on Lucas. So options have to have to use other options coming forward at times. Andrew Welsh has kicked one goal seven for the season. Now he's kicked two goal seven. The Bombers with an early break at the MCG. Great run out of defence, sparked by Andrew Lovett. It was, and it was a great, it was just good run. One of, one of the areas that they suffered last week, Essendon, was their run through the midfield. They've added a couple of players in Jason Johnson and Winderlich into the side to give them that bit more run. And then Welsh was able to get off his man and take a third up mark. Perfect start for Essendon. Goals to Welsh and Lovett. Sees the Bombers in front by 12. Play on. Rain stopped at the MCG. The ball, Difficult conditions, a little bit slippery. But nothing I don't think the players can't handle. Peveril also having a career best season disposal wise averaging 24 a match as the bombers again work it inside 50 johns was the flyer is ladson over to brown and nowhere to go so he concedes a rush behind hey vossi the andrew welsh moves a real win for Essendon already he looks like he's got the stopping job on luke hodge playing as a defensive half forward so that's a real win for the Bombers early. And he's been able to get off him a couple of times also. So Hodge will want to float off and go third man up in those contests. So, yeah, definitely Welsh has got to become a target there. Hodge got it to Lewis. Now Sewell out in front of McPhee. He's got support inside by Franklin. Now loose player just inside attacking 50 is Boyle. And the clever kick from Franklin was able to pinpoint straight to Boyle. And Tim Boyle now a chance from just inside 50 to... Score Hawthorne's first goal of the afternoon. Ben Dixon create, uh, creating traffic there. And Tim Boyle, what a great story it is. He's kicked seven goals, six for the season. Three goals, four from set shots. Great kick off the boot. Hawthorne have their first at the G. Lance Franklin involved us uh, playing up the ground, as you said, Michael, but uh, really creative this from, uh, from Lance Franklin. Yeah, and that's about getting the game on his terms a little bit. McPhee likes to have the ball out in front of him. Uh, he's getting him up into traffic, forcing him to make decisions, and at the moment being, you know, being involved in the play early, so that'll be good for Buddy and for Hawthorne. Here's Alistair Clarkson coaching his 50th game in the big time this afternoon. And it's the Bombers by seven. There's Mitchell on hands and knees. Laycock snares the footy, handles over to Stanton. Gets the kind bounce and finds Welsh again. So Welsh has been called to go. Kicks. Good one to Johns. That was a wonderful pass. Catch. And Courtney Johns... Uh, Interesting stat. All his 14 career goals, Michael Voss, have come from marks. Very interesting. And, yeah, it, mean, it means it's obviously something he's got to work on is that second effort. We know he can lead, wrong and t lead strong and take a great mark, but, you know, when the ball hits a deck, he's got to be able to get after it and find another avenue of how to be able to score goals. Two goals so far in his two matches this season. Needs to have a big day. With no Matthew Lloyd. Drives, kick, and makes no mistake. Bombers get their third. Well, if the trend continues, we're in for a bit of a score fest. 
Um, we expected it to be free-flowing with these two teams, and Welsh has been once again been able to get off Hodge, leading to the ball. Hodge has got to get a little bit better at that. He's been a revelation, Andrew Welsh up forward, hasn't he? Really provides him with a, uh, a real target across half forward. Well, that's since what he's, he's doing from defence. Yeah, that's what he's doing at the moment. That's yes. a key matchup early. And Welsh is getting off Hodge at the moment. He's leading him up at the ball, and Hodge is dropping off the contest. Um, he might have to just readjust his thought process there at the moment. Crawford, yeah. Birchall, now Lewis through the middle. Kick, searching kick, looking for Crow. Couldn't quite handle it. Michael was there to spoil. Hurt. And Michael does what he had to do, getting it across the line. I was going to say, it's now the moment to put Hodge into the midfield. Not at the moment. I think you still see how the game evolves, but um, certainly you keep an eye on it right now to see whether it's working for you or not. Laycock against Taylor. Taylor gets it to the back. Franklin almost was able to run on it, retrieves it. Now he's well tackled. Brilliantly tackled. Four of them have him. And now Pye says, give it to me. No opportunity to get rid of it there for Lance Franklin on attacking 50 for the Hawks. Taylor again against Laycock. Taylor gets it forward. Chance for McGlynn. Gets around Fletcher or does he? Well done, Fletcher. Heard in the way for the Bombers. Clever kick around the body. Finds its target. And Davey marks it half back. Not 15, says the umpire. So McPhee's got a plan. Squeezes the kick and it's a good one. You've got a yarn chops, Luke. It's got to be a free kick to Essendon. Yep. Scott Lucas. Against Campbell Brown. So Scott Lucas, the leading goal kicker in the competition. 18-10 so far in 2007. Kicks to the 50, and there's a contested mark to Taylor. Off to Ladson, to Lewis. And the Hawks run it out of defence. Guerra. Good contest provided by Johns, but weight of numbers wins out for Hawthorne as they move the ball to the wing. This is McGlynn. McGlynn now chips it inside cleverly. Rough head. Plenty of run. They've got a loose player in the centre of the ground, and the kick gets to Crawford. Shane Crawford, the Brownlow medalist, off a step, long towards full foot. Crow with the sit here, couldn't quite hold on. Good pressure from McPhee. Mark Johnson tracks it to the line cleverly. Kicks it to Peveril. Runner outside is Dyson. He's got plenty of toe. Sprints away from half back and delivers poorly straight to Guerra. We had and nowhere Hawthorne. to go. He had nowhere to go. Hawthorne players were flooding back. So that's why he looked up. An Essendon player had to present, but didn't quite get there. Crawford to Birchall. Hard lead from Boyle, and he's rewarded. He's about 65 from goal. Franklin the lead, and that's a good mark. Good pass, just got away from his opponent, Fletcher, who was just manning him up there. And uh, Boyle's kick found the target, so Franklin will kick from about 48 metres out. Quarters, that was a great lead because he had zone players in front of him, and you'll see her at the bottom of your screen there. And Fletcher, he had to lead through the zone, and he did that with a bit of an angled lead and was able to get this ball. Was on target last week against the Dogs, but he sprayed this. And it's the Bombers leading by two straight kicks. McVeigh short to Fletcher. Leads the competition in rebound 50s. Dustin Fletcher. McVeigh. And that's what's ahead of him. Goes very wide. Peveril. From defensive 50. Trying to find a target in amongst a gathering of Hawthorne players. He gets to that. The acting captain, Lucas, who pokes it forward. Mark taken by Montres. So methodically working it forward here. The Bombers. There's the lead from Johns. Still Johns comes. Montres decides to go deeper than that. But straight to Taylor, who dropped an easy one. Hodge backs him up. Mitchell, numbers with the Hawks here, across half back, they spread and run hard, good kick from Mitchell to the path of Gillum, gets an accommodating bounce, Osborne, Franklin, who wasn't a great handball, 3-2 on two here in favour of the Bombers, Davey did very well, now Watson, can he use the ball, long towards Montfries, close to the line, Murphy needs to take it out here, he does cleverly, disguises it well, and a boundary throw in inside the attacking 50 for the Bombers. Watch in the hole. It's a very sloppy handball. Watch in the hole. Davey pounce for the Bombers. They've got it inside their attacking 50. 
catch the Tigers. Don't grab him, Damien. It's going to be Bolton to contest this one against Taylor. He got the tap. Stanton attacks it, and it's got the free kick. Got hold of him as he's coming through. That's a free kick. No, he never took possession. I'll have a look. Stay out of the mark. Stay out of the mark. Thanks. What's your decision, Michael Voss? Is Stanton coming through? Did he have it? No, he didn't. Well, Fair he did, decision. didn't have possession. I think Steve said he'd have a look in the replay. Did he say that? Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> I don't think it'll change the decision right here, though. No. <laughs> so Stanton to give the Bombers a nice bit of breathing space here, and he has slotted it home. So a very handy buffer here for Essendon. They've kicked four goals in this opening term, only at the halfway mark of the first quarter. And there's the free kick to Stanton. Yeah, just didn't just didn't have possession of the ball and got dragged to the ground. So certainly the free kick was there. And like we see, Chris, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they can't change their mind, are they? So a nice little break here for the Bombers. They lead by three goals. Laycock to do battle with Taylor. Taylor gets it down. Crawford. Birchill. Now Ladson. They feed it back and do it effectively. Out wide. Osborne. The offending player giving away that last free kick to stand. And shocking kick inside attacking 50. Didn't give much of his forwards a chance. Franklin well tackled. Michael over the head. Handball effective. Fletcher loops one wide. McVeigh. Oh, gee, there was a high ship, but against McPhee there, went unnoticed. Heffernan, Davey, has got blistering speed. Decides to give it to Dyson, who's got a bit of toe as well. Dyson now, kicks long, John's on the lead. Great kick from Dyson. They did it superbly, the Bombers, from fullback. Well, they're just using the football better, Essendon. Well, their efficiency going forward inside 50 is quite phenomenal at the moment. Every time that they go inside, they look like they're going to score. So. And they're, they're, ranked, they're ranked number one in the competition at the moment. Well, they, they moved the ball very well by foot, and it was a great lead by Johns and another great catch, but... You know, we know their efficiency is, is a strong point of Essendon's and they're certainly doing that today. So Courtney Johns there, we had a quick look at that Shepherd by McPhee on Osborne. Perhaps a little lucky there, the Bombers. But Johns from 45, missing to the near side. One goal, one for Courtney Johns this afternoon. Critical time for Hawthorne right now in this game because Essendon have the flow and, you know, Hawthorne don't want to play with the scoreboard too much. They want to start... Uh, getting a bit of a wriggle on. There's Vandenberg for his first touch in season 2007. Had a pre-season hamstring injury. He's back today to lead the Hawks. Kicks out right to Young. And another poor disposal from the Hawthorne team. Another clanger. And they're paying the price at the moment. And as Essendon get it back, this is McVeigh. Well, Boyle turned his back on play. And you, you just have to watch the ball. Continually watch the ball. The Essendon defender watched the ball, and that's why the turnover eventuated, because the Hawthorne player, Boyle, took his eyes off it. I don't think he thought that Young was going to play on. That was his, uh, that was his problem. Yeah, he might have, but you still don't take your eye off the ball. No, I agree with you. McVeigh across the ground to Fletcher. Another rebound from defensive 50. Sliding attempt by McPhee is successful. Southern wing. Adam McPhee. Essendon players lined up laterally here. Boyle coming off, Dixon on. Jason Johnson. There is not a Hawthorne player in, in their forward 50 at the moment. And the Essendon players, you see the Hawthorne player, they just line up laterally. Laycock, in fact, there's not a Hawthorne player in the, their half of the no, ground. in their half of the ground now. So Laycock looks up at a maze of Forget yellow and brown jumpers. They call that a flood, I think. <laughs> he decides just to bang it high and hope. Up high was Birchall at ground level. Hawthorne have got the numbers. Good desperate stuff in by Heffernan. Mark Johnson in under as well. And up by McBurney forced to call for it. Well, Hawthorne, Hawthorne almost needed that, preferred that to stay inside 50 because as that shot just showed, they had nobody back there if it came out. Dyson to Peveril. He's tackled, dispossessed. Dyson has another crack at it. Quick kick by Peveril to the hot spot, but it's all Hawthorne. And the mark's taken by Murphy. This is where the Hawthorne players really have to work to run from defence and create options. 
And McGlynn does just that. He's got Madsen in support, so he'll try and draw Winderley. In fact, he pops it over the top to the hard run of Crawford. This is his eighth disposal. Back to Ladson. He's having number six. Oh, great mark by Ryder Fleur. No, Mark Pate. Gee, Ryder Fleur over the top. Umpire said it didn't hold it long enough. Fletcher. Long kick. Love it. Against Ladson. Campbell came in. And we'll have a throw in. Leading possession getters Crawford, eight Ladson, six for the Hawks. Stanton and Fletcher, six apiece for the Bombers. Here's Ryder. Was this a mark off? That was a clear mark. Oh, it just popped out. Yeah? Yeah, he controlled it, so he could... Yeah. Legitimate argument. Campbell in front. Challenge from Bolton. Uh, very short boundary throw in that one. So, boundary umpire will get the opportunity to do it again. The young Bombers fan. Keeping your fingers crossed. So, that's better. Campbell in front. And his jumper pulled. No free kick. Watson. Late inclusion for Lloyd. Mark Johnson, nice little sidestep. Hurriedly kicks it inside attacking 50. Murphy couldn't quite, but did well. Ooh. Bouncing handball to Brown. Hodge, back to Brown. So numbers went out for the Hawks as they stream from defence. Good hard run from Sewell. Brown kicks in his direction and finds him on the southern wing. Brad Sewell. Short. McGlynn. So the Hawks looking to make an impression on the scoreboard. Rough hit. Out number two and one. Fletcher and Ryder did enough boundary throwing in the pocket for the Hawks. Well, an early job on Hurd Sewell. Once again, Hurd's only had one possession a day. Sewell doing a great job early in this match. So a chance here for Hawthorne. Deep in their attacking territory. Ryder gets the comfortable tap to Watson. Dixon's in there, spills to Young. Good tackle by McVeigh at the death. Did it well and causes the spill, but Watson's kick misses the target. And chipping in is Vandenberg, too far out to score. Guerra's called for it, he'll load up Brent Guerra from 55. A long kick into the goal square, they fly from the side. It's off hands and the points. Bombers quick to bring it in, Fletcher. Heard. So James Heard coming in for his second disposal. Loose on the wing is Johns. Three goal break to the Bombers here. Bolton. Oh, well done. Had to beat a couple indeed. Mark Bolton. Looks up and sees a mass of Hawthorne players. Two or three across the Hawthorne half back line. Really preventing Bolton from kicking it forward. So they go back. Fletcher. McPhee. And the transfer of players affected to Michael. Good hard running by McVeigh. Now what presents? Monfrey's on a long lead. Got a better couple. Hodge, good closing speed. Fists it over. Boundary thrown at half four for the Bombers. Well, that was the lateral movement across half back to take it out to the open side of the ground. But with a slower movement, Hawthorne are pushing numbers back into Essendon's in Essendon's forward line and just blocking it up a little bit. So it's just stifling Essendon right at the present time. Campbell the tap. And it went straight to Heffernan to put Essendon deep inside. 50, Johns. Good use of the body to get rid of his opponent, Gillum. Still got it, Johns. The banana kick across the face. Ooh. Gee, it was well played by Courtney Johns. <laughs> after his first Just, on the run, yeah. quarters. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what, would have been goal of the year too. Just couldn't finish off his good work. There's been a few this year. There's yeah, some, there's been a couple of been some, some special goals, hasn't there? So Hawthorne, that's what confronts Rick Ladson. Great kick. Gillum. Guerra. Vandenberg. Oh, just loops it high. McGlynn did well just to knock it to the back to the voice of Shane Crawford. Crawford now. Can he find a target? Dixon oh, on a long lead. What a kick it was. And Ben Dixon has been inaccurate this year. Three goals, seven. Kicked three behind Lewis last week against the Bulldogs. Deep into the pocket. And Bolton arrives, but too late. And Jordan Lewis has marked 25 metres from goal. The angle is acute. You've got to be five metres. Get away now. <laughs> oh, that's great stuff, isn't it? There's the kick from Crawford. He's in the right foot pocket, which will favour his preferred left foot as we watch the mark again. 
Hawks trail by three goals. This would be very handy as we count down to quarter time. Oh, the goal up pipe doesn't move. Hawthorne have their second. Great finish from a young man who's really going places. Yeah, he certainly is. It evolved over a period of time and now has become a mainstay in the, in the middle of the ground for them. There's a strong body around that middle of the ground and, and they need that um, within their side. They have the runners and he uh, provides that little bit of presence for Hawthorne. Jordan Lewis kicks uh, his first goal for the season and the eighth of his 45-game career. It's the Bombers by two goals. Monfries won the hard ball. In there is Welsh, Watson. Socket off the ground by Jason Johnson. Love it, couldn't trap it. Mitchell in heavy traffic. Good chain of handballs. Now the Hawks out of danger. To half forward. No mark to Mark Johnson. Hurd gets bowled over by Dixon. Good play by her, though, to get it to Bolton. Back to her. Bomber's out of trouble. Little chip kick, not 15. But Jason Johnson's got plenty of time here to use it. Not a lot to kick to, so heads towards the boundary line. Ladson read it well, but the handball was poor. Watson. Now Jason Johnson again. Hurd snapping at his heels as Saul. Oh, great play, Hurd. Yeah. Underground handball by Watson. Over to Jason Johnson. Lucas can't get there in time. Well, it was one well done by Hurdy. In the middle of the ground, had a couple of contests, tapped it on, got up, got the ball back, then uh, uh, in the half-forward flank, provided that contest again. It's those little knock-ons that make the difference. Well done by Taylor. Gets it down. Mitchell keeps the hands free. Couldn't get an effective handball away. Watson gave it to Young. Never had it, says umpire McBurney. So Clinton Young from half-back for Hawthorne as they run hard towards the midfield. One of them's high jaw. He hangs on just. Shocking kick from Hodge. Gives Fletcher a chance. Bypasses him. Chance here for Dixon. Oh, he's run down by Michael, but he'll get the free kick. Push in the back. <laughs> Let's have another look at it. Michael Voss. Is there a free kick there? Mel, I'm um, no. sorry. <laughs> it was only just though. Gee, I would have called it play on. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's, still, he's still fell into his back and they just they just don't like that at the moment. He didn't actually reason. push him. He, he just no. fell in the end, didn't he? Which yeah. didn't make it look great. It was just over the top of him, unfortunately. Very unlucky, I would have thought. He did fall over, though. Well, I agree kicked, with Mel. <laughs> he's, he's kicked 3-7. He's normally an accurate kick, Ben, Do ben Dixon. This time he kicks a goal and the Hawthorne close to within six. So the last couple of goals off the boot of Lewis and then Ben Dixon and the Hawks back to within six points and they'd be pretty happy with their little comeback over the last five or six minutes, Michael Voss. Absolutely, and Essendon got away to a fly and they've been able to wrestle it back. We said about 10 minutes ago that it was a pretty important part of the game that Hawthorne were able to wrestle it back and now that they have and kicked a couple of goals. Ben Dixon's fourth goal for the season. Sees Hawthorne peg the margin back to just six points as we near quarter time. Mitchell, good pick up. Essendon go forward to their 50, and that's a good mark taken by Ladson. And he's off and running. The long kick is on. Young's free. And a chance here for the Hawks with uh, just 40 seconds left on the clock. Lewis to the 50. Boyle got the front posse. Bolton did well enough. Hamble comes back to Young. Now back to Vandenberg. Got it back to Young. 50 metres out. Tight angle. Has a pot shot at goal. It's across the face. Bombers by five points. And there's some players you'd say, OK, maybe you could centre that up, but with a beautiful kick that Young is, then, you, you know, encourage him to have a shot. So 19 seconds left in the quarter. Fletcher chips to Michael. And ball at half back now with Andrew Welsh. Returning after a hamstring injury. And the Bombers just content here to keep possession and wait until quarter time, which is with us now. 
So quarter time at the MCG, the Bombers by five points. Yeah, and Essendon got away to a bit of a fly, of course, and their efficiency going inside 50 was quite remarkable, almost scoring every single time that they went in there. To get the one-on-one -on -one contest, they want to be able to move the ball fast. Hawthorne were able to stifle that in that second half of that quarter and get back in numbers, and were able to get back into this game. Round six, quarter time at the MCG. Essendon lead the Hawks by five points. Watson's got nine touches for the Bombers. Lanson leads the way for the Hawks with ten. Well done, Jason Johnson gets the first clearance towards half forward. Well done. Great work from Murphy. Franklin starting across the midfield. All his handball was a straight. Chance here for Lovett. Runs to 45. Can he kick the opening goal? He can. Well, Essendon led by 19 points halfway through that first quarter, but the Hawks pegged them back, and the margin at uh, the first break is just five. The Bombers 4-2-26, Hawthorne 3-3-21. All singles so far as goal kicking is concerned. Ladson, 10 touches for the Hawks is the game high, and Watson has nine for the Bombers. Got off to a feisty start, Michael Voss. Yeah, have a look at this. Well, um, they must have heard Andy Maher on the boundary line talking about the barroom brawl because they joined in. <laughs> And uh, didn't have a pull cue there, but uh, but that's about all you can do now in football is that argy bargy. Although uh, big phrase to show that you can uh, <laughs> you can still you're still able to throw one. But uh, it, well, they've got history this club, these two clubs, don't they? Andy Maher, any evidence of Hawthorne blocking in that first quarter? Well, oh, quarters I couldn't find any, so I went over to Jules in the Essendon cheer squad. She said that she had nothing <laughs> to report at this particular point in time, so she's found nothing, nothing, certainly nothing in Hawthorne's inside 50, but. I, Chris Heffernan down the other end, I reckon certainly once, maybe even twice, ran a little screen block for Courtney John. So Michael Voss mentioned it at the start of the show that Essendon's one of the uh, masters at running these blocks. Maybe all attention was being deflected by Sheedy because that's what they're doing down their end of the ground. Well, there's a big game coming up tonight on your Premiership Network. Uh, these two teams also have history. They've fought out some thrillers over there in uh, Amy Stadium. It's the Crows and the Magpies live into Melbourne and Brisbane from 7.30 tonight and live into Adelaide at 7 o'clock and Perth from 8 p.m. And for our Sydney viewers, from 7 o'clock, it's the Swans taking on the Kangaroos live from Telstra Dome in Melbourne. As we start this second quarter, and Michael Voss will keep an eye on the matchups. Any changes? Michael, that you can not, quickly see. Not any major ones. Um, Hurd's came out on, come out to the wing, but that's the only real difference at the moment. Campbell starts the second quarter, getting it down. Birchall's well tackled. The umpire calls for it. So the Bombers start this second quarter five points in front. Although the Hawks kick the final two goals of the first quarter through Lewis and Dixon. And they've got it back to five points. Mark Johnson to Jason. Looping handball. Monfries. McVeigh. Here's a chance for the Bombers. High towards the pocket. Lucas. Good fist coming there from Murphy. Alan Davey couldn't quite <laughs> control it. Was in a great position, front and centre, but just fumbled. And you as a you almost want it in his hands, don't yeah. you? You almost, oh, get it, get it. I want to see what you're going to do. <laughs> so, boundary throw in Laycock and Campbell. Go at it. Over the head of both Ruckman. Jason Johnson at ground level. Knocks it out. Lewis. Hands and knees. Well done, McVeigh. Somehow got boot the ball. Chance here for Pebble. Jason Johnson can snap a goal and he does. Great start by the Bombers to this second term. Well, it was tight and tough in the clinches there, Vossi, but uh, the they somehow mall. found a way through, didn't they? Rugby mall. The ball just kept popping out, just going forward, forward, hitting it forward to goals, and it just popped out. Good hands, wasn't it? It was. Sensational by Peveril. He's been pretty good so far. He's been playing on Mitchell for most of this game and doing a fair job at, the t at this time. Okay, going up again, straight back. Sun starting to shine at the MCG. Great goal assist from Peveril there to Jason Johnson. As Crawford wins the clearance. Over to Lewis, a long bomb inside 50. Fletcher from the side didn't fly. Franklin stayed down. There's a whistle here. Well after the ball spilled free, you threw him to the ground. I let him go. I don't think you did. Oh, I love that. It's... <laughs> Now they all look at the screen, don't they? See, Franklin got rid of it, and yeah, that's the decision. That's the uh, rule, and he got slung after he got rid of it, so it's well, a correct call from the umpire. Let, Adam McPhee was right. He did let go of him, but just a little too late. Yeah. <laughs> so Lance Franklin for his first for the afternoon. 
misses two behinds mm. to Buddy. He's up to 14 goals, 13 for the season, so conversion rate pretty much 50%. McVeigh, Fletcher, he's got Hurd loose at half back and uses James Hurd. Pevril now. And he delivers to Jason Johnson, who had eight disposals in the first quarter and has had a couple already in this second term. Back to Hurd. Now Mel Michael, and they transfer to the southern wing, McPhee. Pevril running hard, really hard, from half back, gets an accommodating bounce. Now love it. Now he can put the afterburners on, and he does. Andrew Lovett chips it short. Laycock, Lucas, no, spilled out. He tried to get the handball. A chance here for Davey. Around oh. one. Oh, brilliantly done there by Campbell. And the Hawks' numbers telling out there. And they're able to relieve the pressure. Although Birchall, little fumble. Handball's a little dubious. Ladson, Murphy, under pressure. But numbers went out as Lewis relieves that pressure and finds Young at half back. And now the Hawks are off. This is McGlynn on centre wing. The leads from Boyle, uh, the kick's ordinary. Boyle somehow in the end though comes up with the football. Little sidestep. Now into the pocket looking for Dixon. Well done Fletcher. Well we can't accuse this game not moving fast enough. When the ball flows it gets one from one end of the ground really quickly. Just one in the run. Go the footy. So it'll be Laycock against Boyle. And Laycock wins out comfortably. Boyle read it. Got it to Dixon on his wrong side. It's not a bad effort from Ben Dixon. Oh. It's home. Great snap. He's got his second. On his non-preferred side, that is an excellent snap from the veteran for the Hawks, Ben Dixon. Yeah, on the right, if you don't mind. And he just did really well there. He read the tap, got in the way of Hurd. Um, didn't get the first hands, but then was able to just be in the contest and then throw it on the right boot and it went through. So, read the play really well there, Dixon. So, marching back to four points. Alistair Clarkson. On his left was Ross Smith. Saul. Crawford, great tackle from James Hurd, but he got it back to Sewell, drives it long to the goal square, Franklin, fist from Michael, Crowd oh, almost threw it to Franklin, play on the call though, Crowd somehow emerges with it, Mitchell jams it on the left boot, can't bring it back far enough, in fact misses everything, so it'll be a free kick to the Bombers. And Fletcher doesn't waste any time, over to Peveril, and he finds Jason Johnson who's playing a very good game in his first match for season 2007. He's up to 12 disposals. Now love it to Winderlich. Back to love it. Oh, oh, for the bad oh, bounce. Oh. The Winderlich handball missed the target, and you can pay a dear price for that in the modern game as away go Hawks. Young into the pocket, Franklin. Tight angle from there. And that's why oh, Young's love. calling for it back, right on 50, but Franklin has put the mouth guard in the shorts and tucked the footy under the arm. He wants a <laughs> shot. No, I'm going back. I'm kicking the goal. But, I mean, the turnover in the middle of the ground, Hodge, just the presence, his body, big body, throwing it in to cause the turnover. That's why I love him playing at the ball rather than behind it because he can influence the contest so well. well he's missed two relatively easy shots. Now for the hard one. Happens every time. Well, as you said, quarters, he wasn't wasn't going to pass that off. <laughs> That's me signal. That's me anchor. I'm going back. I'm going to kick this goal. And kick it he did, and the Hawks are in front for the first time this afternoon. Kevin Sheedy. Looks on, and for the first time, oh. Hawthorne find themselves in front. Campbell, Hurd, head down, Same and free gets kick. a free kick. Thanks. Jason Johnson, right out the possessions, out wide to Mark. Need to keep your feet here. Mark's got to beat a couple. Oh. Well done by McGlynn. He oh. had a two-on-one win out. Sewell is loose. 
Brad Sewell playing well again today. There's McGlynn running forward for him. A couple of Hawks inside the centre square. Crawford's one of them. Birchall shares it with Ledson. Look out. Time to give it off. Hodge. Scrappy kick, but oh gee, he'll push though against Michael and a free kick to Trent Crowe. Not sure that, that was the intended target, but it got to Crowe and Michael in fringe. So Trent Crowe from 55. If you watch it again. Chop on the shoulder. Crowe from outside 50. Dixon though. In fact, it stays in and the bombers can clear. Little chip kick by Ryder finds Stanton. And his kick finds McPhee. McPhee short to Winderlick. And they maintain possession of the bombers to Jason Johnson. You just get the feeling this match is all going to happen in the last 10 minutes, don't you? <laughs> the patient build up. <laughs> Yeah, Scott Lucas is a long way from home. He wants a 50 metre penalty, he doesn't get one. Noticed uh, with, with every time Scott Lucas gets the ball, they have got one person on the mark and Murphy's moved now, but someone to cover him running around under his left boot, which is very disciplined that Hawthorne. Mm. Now they'll switch the bombers to the members' side, Peveril. This is number 10 for Damien Peveril. He looks for Hurd from behind, kept his feet. That was the important thing, Ooh. and then got dragged, uh, caught high. Umpire said no, free, and then he's <laughs> given away a free kick as he knows no, he's, he's getting for a trip. He got tripped. Well, he deserved the first one for a high tackle, so all's well that ends well. Got him high, free kick. Play on advantage. Mitchell, Hawks on the rebound here to Crow. He's got Franklin one out with McPhee. Should get it moving quickly. He leads into the pocket, Franklin. Uh, McPhee was desperate. It was the wrong option. He should have kicked it long in the first place. But he waited for uh, Franklin to lead. But Trent Crowe started to creep in the game, which is a good sign for the Hawks. I've been watching James Heard for about five minutes. I have no idea who was on him at the moment. He's just wandering around with no one on him. So the Hawks deep into attack. Chance for Heard. Michael, Peveril. Oh, needs to get rid of it quickly and does. Ryder. Deep in the pocket. And a good kick under pressure. Mark taken by Montreux. Well, good run from Davy. Max, find there, hold it there. There's Dyson. Davy undecided. Hawthorne have got a wall of players across the midfield, forcing him to go back. Oh, gee, Montfries. Short to Dyson. That's not 15 either. Dyson hears the call eventually. Kicks it towards Laycock and needs to stand firm and does. He does just that and it's a good handball too. A sweeping handball to Stanton who's run down. Free kick. Great tackle. Hawthorne will take the advantage here as the ball's kicked to the wing. McGlynn can run onto it nicely. Franklin leads into the pocket. He ignores him and goes the longer option and finds again Trent Crowe. What about, who is starting to come into the game. What about Shane Crawford on the halfback flag? Well, if you thought this guy didn't have any legs anymore, well, he just took off, put the head down, laid an awesome tackle. That is team lifting stuff. And he's had a pat on the back about 15 times by his teammates. And Trent Crowe, can he finish it off? No. And it would have been just a lift if Crowe was able to go back and kick that goal. Margin three points, Fletcher. Dyson, good idea of the zone implemented there by the Hawks. Heard, oh gee, turned it over straight to Taylor. Stay there. Thanks, Angus. Hawthorne doing a great job at the moment of getting numbers back and really confusing the Essen oh. defence. Oh, a dangerous <laughs> kick across the ground. Oh, yeah. That was a panic kick. He didn't know where to go, so he saw the first Hawthorne player in his vision. He went there. A couple of soft free kicks. There's Osborne, Birchall, and Clinton Young. Now he's a long kick. He's 60 from goal. Loads up on the left boot and kicks it into the pocket. And Franklin, who is really providing a headache for this bomber defence, he kicked six last week. He's kicked one three already today on the left boot. Thank you very much. The Hawks further in front.
So Lance Franklin really coming of age and has been a dominating force in this match. Has had taken three marks, seven disposals, now has two goals too. Well, and what you love about this is that Lance, is, Lance Franklin has gone forward and is able to present and kick goals for you. We already know that he likes to get up the field and can run, but something he needed to add to his game was to be able to go deep forward and be a target for Hawthorne. Just adds a wonderful string to your bow when you can do both because you don't know who to put on him. You don't know whether to put a tall or a small because he can run and take marks at the same time. Essendon need a steadier. Davey, look at the acceleration. Go, he go. breaks one tackle. <laughs> Davey, kick a goal. He runs to 40. Can he nail it? Yes, oh. he can! He is an excitement machine. Well, we said it early, didn't we? When the ball goes in his hands, He's been quiet so far, but he only needs to touch it six or seven times. And this happens, if you don't mind, step, round he goes, off he goes. There's no better vision in football at the moment seeing that. The three hawks are running back for it. <laughs> oh. Send the rabbit out, they're all after him. <laughs> Gee, he just looked at Birchall there and thought, I'll take you on. I want to know why this bloke didn't get drafted four mm. years ago. Oh, oh sensational. He certainly is an exciting player. Leads the Essendon tackle count by seven. Sewell found himself alone inside the centre circle. Long towards Franklin. Yes, no, the umpire was in a good spot. He dropped it. Well done by McPhee. Fletcher. Ryder. Oh, he's in trouble here, Paddy Ryder. Dubious looking handball. Well done, Heffernan. Got his body in. Watson pushed in the back. No free kick. Oh. Heffernan, McPhee wants the line and did the right thing, takes it over. Boundary throwing, half forward for the Hawks. Free kick, Watson. How good's the game going when you got Davey, Lance Franklin? Just exciting players to watch. Mitchell. Couldn't quite hit a target with a handball. And over the top of it is Peveril, that's going nowhere. Umpire's got no choice but to bounce. No, Hodge wants the free kick. Back under. No, he knocked it back under, Luke. First name basis. <laughs> Only for the stars. <laughs> hey, what did the umpire call you? Voss or I Michael? Never, I never got Michael. <laughs> That's because you gave him a spray every time. You got number three, I think, didn't you? Long <laughs> kick by Taylor. His targets. Franklin is double teamed on this occasion. And waiting out the back is Stanton. Now, here's a chance for the Bombers. Dyson. Back to Stanton, a long kick. Johns against Gillum. Hawthorne get numbers back to you, they do it well. Hard running from the Hawks. And there's Mitchell. After it was Ladson, goes into the middle. To a Taylor, and his kick finds Boyle. By Boyle. And he wants Franklin, he goes into the pocket. Franklin in front, yes, he's got it again. Tall. Well, do they the need moment, to consider putting Fletcher onto Franklin? Well, perhaps they do, and maybe then he'll get up the ground. But McPhee looks worried on him. He looks very uncomfortable on him at the moment. And he just took his eyes off the footy at one stage and concentrated all his efforts on Franklin, and he was just able to leverage his body against him and take a mark. So that shows he's a bit concerned. 2-2 Two -two so far for Buddy Franklin. He gets his third. Three goals, all in the third quarter to Lance Franklin. And I wonder if Kevin Sheedy will make a change. Very hard to match up on, as you said before the game, Michael. Six foot five. Yeah. And look, ground skills. If he's going to play deep, I'd consider playing Mel Michael on him. Just for the sheer fact that he's size and he gets up the ground, perhaps then you could put McPhee on him. But yeah, that, that, uh, that match up there is a bit of a concern. Inside 50s, Hawthorne double that of the Bombers, 26 to 13. And Lance Franklin proving a real nightmare for the Essendon defence. Sewell again, here's another inside 50. Brad Sewell hoists it high. Mel Michael in a good spot here. He got a chop on the shoulder, no free kick. He wheels onto the right boot. Man, did it pretty well, did the veteran Mel Michael. Watson, Winderlich. Oh, look out. Walsh pushed forward. Winderlich follows up his handball. Watson. 
Pevril. They're under pressure though, Essendon. They just can't get a clear possession. Now they do with Heffernan towards Lucas. Brown at the back and again the numbers with the Hawks. Murphy. Jeez, they peel off, don't they? Shares it with Greer. Now Young in space at half back. He's got a loose player at half forward. Wasn't a great kick. Gave her to look in, but Ruffhead got it to Sewell. Looping handball wasn't great. Davey taps it towards Peveril, and the Bombers do well just to tie it up and a bounce at half forward. A key matchup at the moment has been Brown and Lucas. Lucas doesn't look like it at the moment, and he's done really well, Brown, to be able to to be able to stop Lucas. He was going to be the key for Essendon in the forward 50, and there they are on screen. But he's been, you know, non-effective so far in this game, Lucas. Third man up was Heard. Vandenberg's in there. Chance. Leading stat getters. Uh, Ladson 13, Crawford 12, Sewell 10 for Hawthorne. For the Bombers 14 to Jason Johnson. And a dozen each to Watson and Peveril. Laycock and Taylor go at it again. Spills to Winderlick. Handball to McVeigh. Out wide to Fletcher. Good handball. Now Fletcher finds Stanton. Oh, oh danger here to Peveril. He got the bad bounce. Now Dixon. Oh, good kick to Crawford. He runs to 55. He looks for Franklin. He'll be lining up for his fourth for the quarter. Change needs to be made right now. Mal Michael needs to go to Lance Franklin. He's playing deeper. He's not getting up the ground. So I'd put either Fletcher or Mal Michael on him right now. Gee, he got a, he got a bad bounce, Peveril. He also got a bad handball from Stanton. And testimony to the pressure that Hawthorne are applying in the midfield. Four goals in the quarter to Lance Franklin as the Hawks take control. Tell you what, boys, there's still a bit of time left in this quarter too. You don't see many players kick five in a quarter. He's a chance. Very big chance. And the other, the other thing that Hawthorne are doing at the moment, they're looking for him at every opportunity, so... Just a wonderful kick by Crawford, put it out to the advantage side of his teammate. And as a forward, that is something you love. Mm. Well, the change has been made. Kevin Sheedy has now placed Dustin Fletcher on Lance Franklin. Now they're standing just a couple of metres from the 10 yard square at full forward. Hawthorne dominating everywhere, certainly at the centre clearances. Mitchell here wobbles it towards half foot. Rough hit, yes, a finger tipper. McFee's not having a great quarter. He's gone on the rough head, and rough head's just marked. So from outside 50, Jared Roughhead, a chance to join the party. Oh, no. he kicked it straight into oh, the no. oh, Franklin. Franklin from 40. Don't tell me. No. Don't tell me. He's kicked five in a corner. If you can believe that. When you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> can you... <laughs> when well, hot, just when hot. you thought McBee did something right, he smothered the ball at land in Lance Franklin's arms and he kicks a goal. <laughs> this is the he's, walked under, right? he's walked under a ladder, Madam McPhee. And, it, oh, I mean, how unlucky is that? I mean, that is your day. It's, Not only that, it was, a reverse, it. it was a reverse torpedo. Reverse from the torpedo, floater, banana. Tor <laughs> I wonder if that's something they practice at training hall for. Set play. Unbelievable. Mm. Well, now now Paddy Ryder's on him. Now someone else. No, 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 so no Fletcher's no. back. Fletcher's, Fletcher's back. called rank. How special is he, Vossy? He's a freak. Well, to be able to do that off one step, too, is just a super talent. And that's what you come to football to watch, is watch these players. Lance Franklin, Davey, just to turn it on like that. Five goals and a quarter. Awesome display. Yeah, the Hawks lead by 21. Oh, Guerra, that is a very dangerous kick. Very dangerous kick. Johnson should make him pay. And he does. That hurts. Two that, goals to Jason Johnson. That hurts. Well, that's I mean, just an, the lowest of low percentages. He did that last week against the Bulldogs on two or three occasions, Brinkberry. He's just got to be smarter than that. That's a brain explosion. And that hurts your team. Boy, the Bombers needed it.
Yeah, mistake from Brent Graham, much needed goal to the Bombers, Jason Johnson. Before that, Lance Franklin to kick five of the last six goals in the game. Been unbelievable, but the, it, I mean, one error is a skill error, but the decision was the incorrect one. Watson pokes it inside, attacking 50, good tackle on Murphy. Umpire says, give it to me. Bounce, 25 no metres from the bomber Stop goal. And when you've got the ascendancy in the game, and an easy goal happens like that, it just can change the complex of the game immediately. And it was just the incorrect decision to do that at that particular time. Laycock beaten by Campbell. Reaches in to pick it up to Scott Laycock. Davey, look out. Went to ground. Good little give by Gillum to Mitchell. Sends him away. Kicks it very wide Ooh. into space. Had nowhere to go. So he did it very intelligently, did Sam Mitchell. And he's trying to kick superbly. Deliberate. He did Ooh. enough. <laughs> It was a great kick. Well, he got to ping for one of the Gabba like that, didn't he, Michael, yeah, many years ago? Actually, I was chasing him. I was happy because I got the free kick. So, But I had to run 80 metres to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in. Members wing. Campbell the tap. Mitchell on the bottom. All wrapped up. Going nowhere. <laughs> Some good by play between the umpire and players at the moment. Hawks by 15. And the umpire goes over there. And still a lot of time left in this second term. The Hawks have kicked six goals this quarter. The Bombers have nailed three. Umpire over. McVeigh to Jason Johnson. He's had an excellent return. Great to see him back. And the kick to half forward. Is that 50? Yes. Silly play by Osborne. And just those couple of things that the Hawthorne have done, those couple of errors that just, you know, if they get out of their game can be a massive difference to them. I mean... Well, they led by 21, now they'll lead by nine. And, and now Hawthorne are well and truly back... Uh, sorry, Essendon are well and truly back into this game. But if it doesn't happen, Hawthorne still have the momentum... So Andrew Welsh for his second from point blank range. Well, it's game on again, which is quite unbelievable when you have someone at one end of the ground who's kicked five goals in one quarter. Just phenomenal display. But Essendon, through a couple of errors of Hawthorns, have been able to get back into this game. Hawks got out to a 21 point lead. It now stands at nine. Simon Taylor does it all himself. Feeds the handball wide to Saul. Through the traffic. Thought his way through very well. Crawford jams it on the boot, but only as far as Ryder. <laughs> Mel Michael then, when the ball went over his head, he just threw his arms in the air because he, he had his arms resting in the Hawthorne player's back. So he's making sure to let the umpire know that he, <laughs> that he, had, he wasn't pushing him. So 50 metre penalty now. The second one within a minute against Hawthorne. And the Hawks getting all 18, Michael, in the back half. Mm. They're all there. <laughs> so right a force kick across the ground to Welsh, who pokes it further towards the win. McPhee had a tough quarter, Adam McPhee. Things not going his way this afternoon. Now yeah, called to play on. Feeds it back. Oh, gee. Heart in your mouth stuff as well. She retrieves the footy rider. Now Michael. He takes on Crawford. Tucks it under the arm and away he goes. Kicks towards Harford. McVeigh, well done. Good stuff from Mel Michael. Took the initiative. Now McVeigh's got Lucas leading for him. Deep in the pocket. Lucas couldn't hold on. Good pressure coming from Brown, and immediately Hawthorne swarm on the footy. Guerra, Ladson, and a good delivery across the ground to Young. Little chip to Gillam at halfback. Well, it was a 40-point turnaround in this game. Essendon led by 19 in the first quarter, then the Hawks led by 21. 
But Essendon have shaped it back to nine as we near half time. Inside 50 go the Hawks. Roughhead went up one handed. Doing the roving was McGlynn. Now Sewell throws it on the left. Franklin's double teamed. Up he goes. The big fist came from Michael. I prefer that matchup, to be honest, if uh, Mal Michael on Franklin. But Mal is just a couple of metres off him at the moment. I wouldn't suggest giving him that much room. <laughs> So deep in Hawthorne's fourth pocket, Ryder edges out Roughhead. Roughhead ends up with it, gives it straight to Michael. And a relieving handball to Hurd. Watson, a oh, little fumble. The time to recover. Handball to the head of Andrew Lovett. So back to Hurd. Pokes it towards Lucas. And this time Lucas gets a free kick. Much to the joy of the Essendon fans. Scott Lucas kicked 18 goals for the season. Goalless when the Bombers last played on Anzac Day. Chips it wide to Davy. An electrifying goal earlier in this quarter by Elwyn Davy. Again, Hawks getting the numbers back. And the mark's taken by Welsh. He goes sideways to Fletcher. He'll switch to the member's side, and Michael's found some room. Now, there's loose bombers uh, at half forward. It was an interesting kick, but it's found his target in Peveril. Stanton's run loose. Peveril wants to go. Leads on from Mark Johnson and finds him. Good kick. Good patient play from it the was, Bombers. It was, it was a very good build-up because Hawthorne were all back in numbers. So to be able to chip the ball around, just wait for the space to open up. But now there's nothing there, so Johnson's going to have to go back and be able to have a shot at this goal. But well done by Essendon. He's not without a chance here, Mark Johnson. From 48. Oh, oh. got too close to the man on the mark. That's a free kick to Richie Vandenberg. And the advantage off. paid and off go the Hawks to the no races. One back there. There, there is, is no, no one, one down there. You're spot on. No one in one half of the ground. So Young's got to run. Handball's out. Yeah, drags out. Is that deliberate? Deliberate. Yep. Well, they paid the price for flooding the Hawks. <laughs> good umpiring. It was good umpiring. So, so Heffernan now, who applied plenty of pressure. Peveril. Under a minute left in the quarter. See, the Bombers would dearly love a late goal here. Can't see it happening with Hawthorne getting the numbers back. Watson. Welsh. Fletcher now at half back. Now, Lovett's wide. He hasn't, Fletcher hasn't seen him. He goes shorter. Heard. Direct play. Well done, Stanton. Stanton kicks it high. Lucas this time. Toe to toe with Campbell Brown and Scott Lucas, his height helping him out on that occasion. And he'll kick from inside 50 with just 15 seconds left on the clock to narrow it back to three points. It's been a great comeback by the Bombers. They've really stabilised things, kicked a couple of goals, albeit lucky. Yeah. But they've been able to turn around because certainly in midway through the quarter, Hawthorne had the, had the momentum. Yeah, they sure did. And that's why it's a wonderful effort by Essendon to be able to get back. This will make a big difference for Lucas if he can go back and kick this goal. Kicking at his first for the afternoon, Scott Lucas from set shots this year. 14 goals, 7. Couple of steps, drop punt. Disappointment. So at half time, 8 point advantage to the Hawthorne. 9 5 59, leading the Bombers 8 3 51. And, and Hawthorne certainly had midfield dominance there. They're pushing back in numbers to be able to stop Essendon from their efficiency that they normally have. Buddy Franklin has been absolutely on fire on the back of a 31 to 18 entries, forward 50 entries for Hawthorne. Lucas has been a bit ineffective, but Essendon will rather wrestle the control back of that game. Hawks by eight points at half time. Crucial part of the season, both teams on three and two, and Kevin Sheedy knows it. Look at him imploring the players there for a big effort in the second half. Uh, Essendon trail at the moment by only eight points. Been a terrific first half of football at the MCG. There's James Hurd, the former skipper. No uh, Matthew Lloyd today, he missed with a hamstring injury. Hurd barking out the instructions there. The Bombers well and truly in the game. They were in trouble at one stage in that second quarter, trailing by 21, but. Uh, Cut the margin back to eight as they make their way back out into the MCG. 
What do you think of Andrew Mars interview, boys, with a fantastic four? I, I've never seen Andrew so nervous. He, he looked as though he'd blushed up a little bit, actually. Yeah, the microphone was shaking yeah. in his hand. Well, one of my favourite pastimes, actually, is... Um, is in the hotel room and watching a movie, of course. Yes, uh, you know, that's and, enough information. Thanks, and, Michael. And uh, and apparently that's Jessica's too. And and uh, Andy didn't share that information with her whatsoever. <laughs> what, are you doing, disappointed. what are you doing tonight, Andy? <laughs> well, I can't say, but Jessica and I may have a little dalliance later on this evening. <laughs> and Vossy, she did actually, I did actually mention her off there. We ran out of time. And she said, oh, Michael who? And I said, Michael Voss. And she said, oh, have you got a, I'm interested. Have you got a photo of the young man? And I happen to have a photo of you in my wallet. So well, you I just showed, carry around? I, I do, indeed. I showed Jessica the picture of you, and she said, I'm busy uh, rearranging my sock drawer tonight. Uh, maybe some other time. Doesn't so, matter, mate. I've yeah. got a wife at home who's much better than that anyway. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Let's no. have a look at some match stats, gentlemen, as we get ready for the third quarter. And uh, inside 50 is interesting. 11 more to the Hawks. Uh, five more marks inside 50. Uh, yet the uh, Bombers doing well with the clearances. Yeah, but there's no doubt the Hawthorne took the, took the game, the initiative away from uh, the Bombers. And if not for a couple of mistakes, could be three or four goals up at half time. But uh, full credit to the Bombers. They fought hard, stabilised things in the midfield, particularly deep into that second term. Were able to sneak the last couple of goals of the quarter and really uh, pull it back to an, a margin of eight points, which gives them certainly plenty of chance in the second half to, uh, to try and get over the top of Hawthorne. It was an important part of the game because Hawthorne had real momentum. Lance Franklin was on fire. They had midfield dominance. They were winging it out of the middle of the ground. And, uh, you know, Hawthorne had something like uh, 21 to 14 clearances in that first half. So they really got on top there. And Essendon just haven't been able to generate any inside 50 marks. But Hawthorne have done well to be able to block them up. And Fletcher. Essendon, yeah, Fletcher's gone to Lance Franklin, so that is a big task for Fletcher. But for them to be able to turn that around when the momentum was against them was really important for this game and for Essendon. So all set for a fantastic second half. It's the Hawks by just eight points against their arch rivals, Essendon. And uh, Hawthorne win the ball out of the centre of Dubai. Oh, Square is wrapped up. He backed himself and has paid the price. It's a free kick to the Bombers. Welsh off to Stanton towards half forward. Hurt was held. No free kick. Sewell's been hard close to him all afternoon. Dyson a chance. The numbers though with the Hawks. Vandenberg, Mitchell, Sewell feeds it back to Ladson, who's been very good. He kicks across the ground and an option presents itself in Michael Osborne. So well done Hawthorne. Under pressure there, but they're able to get out of it. Osborne. Good hard running by Robert Campbell. Birchall running for him. Good support. Grant Birchall runs to 50. Great chase from Lovett, but he kicks to the top of the goal square. Dixon couldn't hold on. He had it on his chest, did Ben. He couldn't quite hold on, and it trickles over for a behind. I thought he was going to shepherd it through. He did all the hard work. No, nothing there, nothing there. Just took a dive. So it's the Hawks by nine. And as Essendon work it forward, Heard. Chip back into the corridor to Stanton. Jason Johnson, as I said, terrific comeback so far this afternoon. Winderlich back to Stanton to McVeigh. Now he bombs it long. It's a wobbly one. Underneath it is Brown, decides to fist it away. Crow finds himself in defence at the moment. Over to Murphy, who switches to the other back pocket and finds Hodge. Deep, deep in defence to Guerra. Just positional changes that I wouldn't mind seeing is Hurdy perhaps playing a little deeper. He's got the ability to be able to kick you two or three goals really quickly. I think it'll be an effective move. Osborne. Long penetrating kick deep inside 50. Dixon will get there. They run out of territory. He keeps it alive. Keeps it alive. Loses his feet. Regains his feet. Handballs to Franklin. Runs into a tackle. Can't get boots a ball. Holding the ball surely. It is. Free kick to Essendon. Great work here from Dixon. Perseverance, keeping it in. Just stumbled there. And Franklin well tackled. So the Bombers. Bolton. Now Stanton. There's umpire McBurney. Shouts the instructions. Hodge. Interception. Ladson. 
On the low goes centre wing, Rick Ladson. Plenty of time, no one coming to him, so he pokes it inside, attacking 50, and Ben Dixon is on the end of it. So Hawthorne has started this third quarter very well, certainly controlling things. Hawthorne have been able to work Essendon's defence around. It's been a real strength of theirs today. The fact that they haven't had Mark Williams there has been... They haven't had a lot of necessarily set structure there and being able to work their defence a little. Ben Dixon's kicked a couple. Three goals, seven coming into today for the season. From right on 50. Ah, oh, beautiful kick. He's kicked his third. Hawks out by 15. So the Bombers have kicked the opening goals of the first and second quarters. But this time Hawthorne kicked the opening goal of the third and a nice little break. Just the break they need in the, and to start the quarter. Just to get that ascendancy at the start of the third quarter. But, I mean, Hawthorne's run, Hawthorne's run is troubling Essendon at the moment. They're moving the ball very fluently and finding their forwards. Alistair Clarkson in his 50th game as coach of the Hawks watches on. 15 points to margin. Thank you. Let him up, let him up. That's okay. Let him go. Thank Hawks have won the last three matches against the Bombers. And another stalemate in the middle. Thanks, Hodgie. Right of the tap, spills to Crawford, feeds it out. Quick kick by Lewis. Dixon against McPhee. They both fall over. Here's Franklin. Fletcher over to McVeigh. They did well here. The Bombers under a fair bit of pressure. McPhee to Fletcher. And a long kick to the wing. Ladson against Davey. Davey got the front position. He's off. Too slick for Ladson there. Backs himself. Handballs to Dyson. Got push. Play on. Jason Johnson squeezes the left foot kick into the pocket. No one home. And Campbell Brown will mop up deep in defence. He's got Crowed on. And that's where he kicks. Working hard for him. Here is Osborne. Takes the ball at half back. Now Vandenberg playing his first game for the season. Hawks building up nicely here. But the kick from Vandenberg drops a bit short. Is that a push? Yes, it is. Against Dixon, no doubt about that. Advantage paid, and McVeigh's away. Kicks quickly back to the wing, and the mark is taken by Lovett. Lovett inside to Dyson. Dyson can run. Chips it further afield. Laycock. Not much to go to up forward, so he handballs wide to Peveril, who kicks it low towards Lucas, but Crow cut the angle and fists it over for a boundary throw-in. And some congratulations there from Campbell Brown. Crow double-teaming Lucas in the attacking... 50 for the Bombers, so Bombers need a goal here. Laycock props in front, beaten by Campbell. Lewis, well done Gillum, and now Crawford's away. Oh, it's a good chase, it's a great chase, it'll be rewarded. And Paddy Ryder, great staff off to Dyson. Kicks it very high, deep into the pocket. That was an opportunity wasted there by Ricky Dyson, and it'll be a free kick to the Hawks. Take a bow, Paddy Ryder. Big fella, chasing, chasing Crawford. <laughs> yeah. Got some toe. It's a good effort. This is Jordan Lewis, growing in stature as an AFL footballer. To Mitchell, to Vandenberg. He drives the long kick. Franklin's caught behind. Big pack fly. I don't see that too often up forward anymore. McPhee had a horrific second quarter. Doing his best here to lift his team. At half back, chips to the wing and Heard. Little twist and turn on Sewell. Campbell to no one in particular. Campbell. Now the Hawks get it back. Crawford to Ladson. He'll swing onto the left and drill it long. Poor kick, just blazed away. And Bolton takes the easiest of marks. Peveril. Hasn't got much to go to here, Peveril, so forced to go back. Across the ground to Bolton. McPhee. Bombers really finding it difficult to get through half-forward at the moment. Heard lost his footing. 
gives Sewell a chance, who's played very well. Left foot kick, well done, great stuff, great closing speed by Bolton. Got the fist in there to punch it away from Murphy and force a boundary throw in at half forward for the Hawks. I really would like to see Hurdy push deep forward. It just gives Hawthorne another player to worry about. At the moment, all they've got to worry about is Lucas and they're drifting off their opponents and cutting off those leads. Whereas Hurd down there, another dangerous player can change that. Chance for Crawford. Handball out wide. Dixon, good bump on Lovett, and then knocks it to accommodate Hodge, who had his head ripped off. No free kick and a bounce. Here's that... Oh. 50 out from the Hawks goal. Winderlich over to Peveril. Looking for Jason Johnson. Guerra did well enough to spoil and we're to throw in. Jason Johnson, 18 disposals. Stanton, 18. Peveril, 18 for Essendon. Crawford's racked up 19 for the Hawks and Ladson, 17. Hawthorne leads by 14 points as we near the halfway mark of the third term. Both teams, three wins, two losses this season. It's a pivotal game. Here's Vandenberg. Into the pocket. Franklin pushed Fletcher out of the contest. Got away with it. Throw in. Five goals in the second quarter to Lance Franklin. A rare achievement. In any era of football. Peveril again to McVeigh. His kick finds Bolton. So not much happening at the moment. Real arm wrestle. Yeah. Bolton's kick finds Fletcher. He kicks towards Jason Johnson. Now Andrew Lovett running for him. In fact, it's Alwyn Davey. And he can't control the ball at his feet. So we'll get a boundary throw in. Just the attacking side of the wing for the Bombers. Just... You can see there... Going back inside defence of 50, a loose man is Gillum for the Hawks. Now, Essendon free kick, says umpire McBurney. So Scott Laycock. Don't know if there was much in that. Laycock's uh. kick is really poor. Gee, he didn't just miss the target. He missed it by a long way. So Kevin Sheedy will be disappointed about that because they've rarely had it in their fourth half in this quarter. Young. Guerra thought about going. Kicks back and across. Lewis and players jarred free on the southern wing. Wasn't a great kick. Gave Welsh a look in. He's got to beat three here. Welsh and did it brilliantly to McPhee. McPhee brushes Crawford aside and then finds Winderlich who's been quiet. The run provided by McVeigh. Here's a chance. They need to kick short. He does. Riders mark inside attacking 50. The other option, Vossi, was to go long but there was yeah. only one player there and that was Trent Crowe. And good smart play by Mark McVeigh. Gives Paddy Ryder a chance from inside 50 to kick a valuable goal for the Bombers. Well, it was the decision coming forward. McVeigh waited up Looked long, saw Crowed, and then went short and spotted up. That is terrific decision-making. Needs to kick this. You just sense that Hawthorne really dominating this game. So, Paddy Ryder, off a couple of steps, <laughs> he pops it through. Margin back to nine points, and, gee, they needed that. Normally in this situation, a lot of players just blaze away and he just evaluated there, McVeigh, and saw Ryder present. He needed to present because there was nobody else there. Just weighed up his options. Just perfect execution. Nine points of difference in favour of Hawthorne as the Essendon hierarchy watch on. Goal to Paddy Ryder. Welsh just bangs it back inside 50. Johns gets there first. Controlled it. Got it to Stanton. Left foot snap. It's another one. Two goals in a minute to the Bombers. Well, the big fella got there in Courtney Johns. We thought he might have spilt the beans, but he did well in the end. He fed it out to Stanton, who finished nicely. 
And Essendon well and truly back in town. He did. He spent it before he got it. He saw the option and just fumbled. Thankfully, Stanton was there for him and was able to finish on the left and be good enough to, for the finish. Stanton starting at half forward there. Followed the ball down. Isn't AFL football unbelievable? The game we think's going one way, and then like that, it changes. Oh, a couple of goals for the Bummers against the Flow Herd. Scrambles it oh. for Davey Brilliant. <laughs> Peveril jams it on the boot, and oh, good mark taken by Stanton again. How did really Davey get brave out of there. How did Davey get out of that situation? Yes, it was cat -like. freaky stuff. Brent Stanton coming in for disposal number 20. And for goal number three, just you see the eyes darting sideways, looking for an option perhaps from 55. Drop punt, it's close. It's home, is it? No, it's still in. Ladson, numbers with the Hawks in the last line. Oh, oh. superb stuff from Davey. And Gillen knocks it out wide to Hodge, who backtracks. They need to be careful here, Hawthorne. Davey's back into it again. Oh, and it's a free well kick. Done. Superb stuff from Elwyn Davey. Oh. And the Bummer fans applaud. That is just superb forward pressure. Look at this smother. Oh, stand up and applaud. What an effort. Gets but, up. Well, that was the first again. effort. There was three efforts there, and you can see him gasping for air because that was just brilliant stuff from Elwyn Davey. Wouldn't it be great if he capped this off with a goal to put the Bombers in front? Just get composed. It was a big effort. Just get your breath. Go back. Take your time. Right up against the paint. Deep in the right forward pocket. Elwyn Davey. Little left foot kick. Oh, he's kicked it straight to Campbell Brown. Oh, he had the line right. Just no strength in the putt. Now, to use Australian parlance, he was knackered. <laughs> he was. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, but it is five metres inside that the players must stand. Is that correct? Yes. I reckon they were two metres, three metres at the most. He had no room to be able to move then. Saul. Gets it at half forward for the Hawks. This is a hard running game. He kicks it inside 50. Missed the oh, target. Suffered uh -oh. off the ground. I think it was Fletcher, wasn't it? Yep. And it's a free kick and it's going to be taken by Lewis. Too far out to score. Short to Mitchell. He plays on, sweeps it to Birchall. From two steps, it's a thumping kick. Franklin's there. Is it still in play? No, it's a point to Birchall. This is a good game of football. Oh, it's ebbing, ebbing and flowing so much. You think it's going one way and then the opposition's able to get back into the game. It's, it's been a really good game to watch. Heard places it for Watson. We needed to be strong. He's out number three to one. Birchall swoops on the loose ball. Hits rough head on the chest. 50 from goal. Wrestle at centre forward. And a Hawthorne player is hurt. Yeah, he Hef Heffernan was the other man involved in that little tango. I'm not sure what happened there. Well, it was almost a body slam by Heffernan. He's been quiet, Jared Ruffhead. Three disposals only. But he can kick it a long way from 55 metres. Drop putt looks pretty good. Oh, what a wonderful kick. Hawks further in front. So Jared Ruffhead with just his fourth disposal, in fact he's got the least disposal count on the ground, kicks a great goal from outside 50 and gives the Hawks some breathing space. Now using the ball pretty well Hawthorne this week. Early in the game they're fumbling a little bit, turning over the ball, but certainly since then have been pretty spot on with their target hitting. Hawks by 10 points. Luke Hodge wins possession to Crawford. Oh, it's a strange handball. Essendon go inside 50. Lucas. Got to beat Brown. Johns tried to smash through the tackle. Got it to Lucas. <laughs> Lucas loads up. He loves these. Superb stuff from the Bombers. We'll give three of those points to Courtney Johns because he made the play. Yeah, he attracted two or three of the Hawthorne defenders and we watch it here. The ball gets ricocheted and he just takes them on, attracts the numbers, leaves Lucas free. There were two players <laughs> outside Scott Lucas uh, Vossi that he, they should have, he should have given the handball. He didn't, but he did kick the goal. There's the two runners you can see just to his left. Uh, yeah, 
Eyes only for the goal, Scott Lucas. Now he was able to kick it. Rough, tough play from Courtney John setting up the Lucas goal. The margin back to four points in favour of Hawthorne. I don't think Lucas believes in no U-turns. <laughs> <laughs> Here they go again. Watson criticised for his kicking, but that was a beauty. Lucas couldn't hold on. Oh, Stanton overruns it. Allows Brown in. Vandenberg, who's been very busy in this third quarter, the captain. Around the body, McVeigh. Kept his eyes on the ball. Loops the handball over the top to Welsh. Look out. Confronted by Birchall. Back towards Mark Johnson in a pickle. What's the umpire going to do here? Oh, gee, bit lucky, I think, the Bombers. No, he's penalised no. him. I thought for a moment he was going to ball it up, but McGlynn with the free kick on the wing. He goes Zimboard to Taylor. He's got a loose man at centre-half forward. It's Young. Gives off the handball. There's three Hawks there. Ends up in the arms of Ladson, who should go, but misses. This game is like a game of poker at the moment. I'll see your bet and I'll raise you. <laughs> It's like that at the moment. Yeah, perfect description. I said, I think, halfway through the second quarter, just to play the last 10 minutes, I think that's when it'll be decided. <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess the good news for Hawthorne is that they've won four of the uh, four of the five final quarters this year. They are known as fast finishers. But who knows in this game? It's only a five-point margin. Picked up by Young. Not much of him. He can find the football. Mitchell under the left boot. Franklin's been quiet. He's one out here. Franklin got both hands on the footy. He might still kick a goal. He kicks it. He kicks it. He's got six. I don't think I've ever seen Franklin so dangerous, look so dangerous in the air. And he's cat-like on the ground, we know. And the second effort is what gets him that goal. But it just looks dangerous in the air. Yep. Even against quality opposition like Fletcher, he's looking very dangerous. Well, he's so tall. That's the oh, six, six five. five. Yep. Unbelievable. Ball hits the ground. And he can jump. Keeps his feet. Back Second to back. effort. Back to back goal. half dozens for Buddy. Yeah. Well, he's done it four <laughs> times. He's done it <laughs> four times so in his gorgeous. career now. <laughs> six goals on four occasions in his career. And obviously plenty of time left for a career best. Watson. Puts the head down. No Umpire McBurney calls for it. Margin out to 11 Double points. The Bombers, every time they look threatening, the Hawks have the answer. Taylor and Lakoff. Umpire McBurney throws it up this time. An arm wrestle. Taylor gets it down towards Mitchell. He's wrapped up. Watch so. the hands. Watch the hands. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Paddy Riders, now that was paid not by umpire McBurney in control, but from the umpire in the Ford 50 for the Bombers. Handball off to McVeigh. Wide, Mark Johnson, open forward line here. Johnson kicks it long towards Stanton in the pocket. Fist coming, Mitchell first to seize upon the loose ball. Birchall, and again the Hawks getting numbers back. Oh, Lewis dropped the mark he should have taken, but he's got time. Wasn't a great kick. Laycock did superbly initially and then tackled McGlynn high, so a free kick to McGlynn. 9-2, the free kick count this quarter in favour of the Bombers. But you'd have to say the umpire this, this afternoon has been excellent. Crawford out wide to half forward and the mark's taken by Boyle. Franklin provides the lead. Ran into traffic. Hodge! Well, it's back out to 17 and takes a player of great skill off just one and a half steps to do that, Michael Voss. Clean, very clean. Ball bounces, makes that easier than it looks. And he just whacked it on the boot with direction, finished with a goal, pure skill. Great stuff from Luke Hodge. Ryder in the ruck, gets it down, shark by Mitchell, couldn't get the handball away, Watson could, Jason Johnson, love it, puts on the accelerator, past Saul, took a couple of bounces, runs to 55 and that is a poor option, 
because he had no one for it. The only player within 40 metres was Campbell Brown, and he accepts it gleefully. Pokes it wide, and the mark taken by Osborne. He played that well, Campbell Brown. And as Croke's got the ball in the midfield. And Hurdy's now pushing back into defence as a spare man, just to block, just to block him up a little bit. Well done by Boyle to get to the contest in the end. Good desperate stuff from Mark Johnson. Vandenberg's in there. Boyle has another crack. McPhee <laughs> wants the free kick and yeah. gets it. When there's four, the two Hawthorne blokes were fighting for it. When there's 4,000 <laughs> players on you, that is impossible to get out. Heard. Oh. Well, I shouldn't have questioned his skill, should I? <laughs> Pinpoint pass. And Watson. Do you love the way the Hawthorne players work on the mark? They are yeah, they have so been ferocious. Haven't they? Every time. Great discipline to have. Oh, Fletcher, gee, kick. that is a dangerous kick towards half forward. Numbers with the Hawks and love it arrives. Couldn't control it. Campbell can. Keeps the hands free and does it very well. Guerra. The non-dominant side kicks to Young. Now it opens up for the Hawks. Clinton Young, casual bounce. He's got runners in support. One of them's McGlynn. McGlynn, can he find a target inside attacking 50? Or almost, almost got towards Boyle. Up to Osborne now. Oh, loose player in the goal square was Lewis. He's still got a chance. Needs to get around Fletcher. Handball back to Franklin. Franklin back to Lewis. Lewis, can he squeeze a goal? Loose player in the goal square goal. Thomas Murphy kicks the goal, and the Hawks worked it through very cleverly. And they're very composed. The Bombers have thrown everything at them in this third quarter, but they've had all the answers. Hawks by 23. They had to work overtime to get it, but they did in the end through Tom Murphy. In the goal square, the little toe poke, or Joe the Goose, as Wayne Carey calls it. But it counts for six points. And now the Bombers, can they respond again? As Jason Johnson puts him inside 50. Oh. Oh, attacking it was Crow. Just in the end went without it. Oh, John's bang. Like a pinball machine there was Campbell Brown. He's bounced uh, off out, him. They are outrunning Essendon at the moment, Hawthorne. They are running and spreading quickly and catching them out at the moment. Jason Johnson ducked the tackle, got the handball out. Oh, intercepted though by Guerra, just as Lovett was off and running into an open goal. Brent Guerra, good kick. Oh, Roughhead spilt the beans, bad miss, turnover. Lucas to Ryder, good contest from Osborne. Young did well. Tackled by Stanton, good contest from both teams. We'll have a bounce on centre wing. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. And there's the Hawthorne forward line. That's been the setup for most of the afternoon where there's been three players in the forward 50 and everyone else up the ground. There's another chance as McGlynn kicks towards Franklin Fletcher in front. Oh, somehow it lands in the arms of Franklin who kicks goal number seven. What a performance from Lance Franklin at the MCG, a career best seven goal haul. Michael Voss, I think we're witnessing the fact that a star is being born right now. He sure is, and I hope Mum has this on at home, push and record, because he is having a day out. Just looks dangerous. When it gets in his area, he looks like he's going to get it. There's rare players, when it falls into their area, and they look like they're the ones that are going to get it. And at the moment, when the ball goes forward, he looks like he can score a goal. 29 points. Danger time now for the Bombers. As Mitchell puts Hawthorne back inside 50. Lucas is back there. There's Franklin. Bangs into uh, Lucas. Ball spills free. Michael and Fletcher are there. For advantage. Oh, no. No, now it's coming back. Good umpiring. What about the mark of respect they've had for Franklin? Fletcher's playing on him. Now Mal Michael has gone as a loose man standing in front of him.
two of the probably modern day best full backs that we've seen over the last seven, eight, ten years. And they're both playing on him. <laughs> Peveril kicks to Johns. Now hurt. And good work from Bircher to spoil. So a minute left in the third quarter. Bombers in trouble. I would I would still have Mel Michael on Lance Franklin. Campbell against Ryder. And they nullify each other, really. Here's Mitchell. Over to Lewis. This is disposal number 19. Good smother by McVeigh. Something at Franklin's stats. 13 disposals, five marks, a couple of tackles, seven goals, two. McVeigh, quick kick. Birchall over the top of him is Heffernan the steals the ball in the end to Watson he hasn't got a lot to kick to here he's got to carry now he draws the play handballs to Dyson they need a goal here Essendon love it gets the kick out but to, to no avail it's going to miss everything and some respite for the Hawks back to a bit of structure Michael going forward a few times yeah. the Bombers with no one uh, across the full forward line there's been three or four times where players have had it 60 from goal and had nowhere to go taylor oh he took them on now a chance for lovett well tackled by crawford dispossessed him then retrieved the footy and got it to saw superb stuff advantage played as campbell brown burst from defense a couple of bounces he'll keep going four now he kicks to a vacant goal square where will it bounce oh he's kicked across the face as the siren goes needed a just needed a straight bounce and it would have been <laughs> the nail in the coffin you would have thought for the Essendon side but at three quarter time 15 eight plays 11 3 29 point advantage to the Hawks well I think Hawthorne have just counter punched time and time again their midfield and their run has just been too much for Essendon and through that quarter they've just keep pushing and pushing and when they've gone forward they've had some they've had Lance Franklin there on fire just been in superb form and it's been a pleasure to be able to watch but yeah Essendon have some work to do in this last quarter to make up some ground Chances McGlynn kicks towards Franklin Fletcher in front. Oh, somehow it lands in the arms of Franklin who kicks goal number seven. Now, when I said Franklin was being quiet, he'd been quiet in the third quarter because <laughs> he's got seven. Uh, it's 15 8 98. The Hawks, Essen 11 3 69. 29 point buffer at the last change, and the Hawks are strong finishers. They won four of the five last quarters this season. Crawford 22. Jason Johnson playing a great return game for the Bombers with 24 disposals. But it's all aboard the buddy train this afternoon. He's been the star with uh, seven goals, five in the third quarter and uh, five in the second quarter and two in the third quarter. As we look at the fresh legs, Michael Voss. Well, Hawthorne loves to be able to rotate their midfield and there's some fresh legs there to be able to play out the rest of the game. But they, they have so many changes it's a strength of theirs they like to be able to run and carry the ball and they're certainly testing Essendon out into that area Jason Johnson Elwin Davey and Joe Watson still haven't played a lot of game time so despite the fact that Hawthorne uh, are very good in their final quarters perhaps some hope for the Bombers because some of their key players haven't had a lot of game time well they need to be able to they need to be able to take some risks they need to flip the ball on, get the ball going forward because they haven't been able to generate any one-on-one -on -one contest for, um, in, the, in their forward 50, which is their strength. Andy Ma. And that's exactly what Gary Ayres was saying to his defenders, Vossi. It's very rare when you see the assistant coach giving his group an absolute bait. That is absolutely what Gary Ayres did at three-quarter time, demanding that his defenders run, run, run. They don't have a lot of run in their legs. Let's see if they can find something. Hawks start the final turn, 29 points in front. Quick kick by Welsh. Gain 25 for his team. Winderlich. Number 25 for Jason Johnson. Kicks inside 50.
But a chance here for Essendon. Punt road end. 50 out. Campbell against Laycock. That's a high tackle, is it? No, umpire just caught blindsided there. Hodge forced a handball. Birchall doubles back. Now Lewis, number 20 for Jordan Lewis. Averaging 29 disposals a game this season. In the middle is Crow, back after injury, takes the mark. Oh, play on. Crowd goes to short option, finds Sewell. Got two metres, James. Sewell on centre wing has had the job this afternoon on James Hurd. Hurd's had 23 disposals. Crawford kicked towards Franklin and he marks on his chest despite the pressure coming from Dustin Fletcher. Anguish for Essendon fans, but Buddy Franklin will line up for goal number eight. And that is not Dustin Fletcher's fault because Heffernan got caught watching the ball, did not go to Crawford, and Crawford was able to play on easily and then be able to deliver that ball. You can't stop that as a defender. Franklin's kick seven. Can't bring this back. Contest. And Laycock decides just to thump it through for him, rushed behind. So an even five goal advantage now to the Hawks. Fletcher goes. Or short ish. I think that kick in shows what Essendon will try and do this quarter. Take some risk, go up the middle. Peveril. Kicks to Johns. Who's a huge man, but just doesn't do enough, does he, Michael? No, well, he's, I mean, his, his leads are great, of course. We know he takes a great mark. But it's then the secondary, when the ball hits the ground and how you get after it, he's just got to be able to add that to his game. Heard. Is that plenty of it? Number 24 here. Fletcher's run hard from deep in defence. Out to McVeigh, who takes the slider. So patient build up here from the Bombers. They need the first goal. They can't get it, and it's all but game over. Long bomb. In front is Johns. Yes, no, not quite. And he did all the hard work. Hit the ground. Hey, hit the We'll have a bounce. 40 out from Essendon's goal. There's the John's attempt. Gillum affecting the spoil. Laycock. Heard. Winderlich feeds it back. Peveril. Further back to McVeigh. Off a step from 50. Drives it long to the goal square. Brown got back and fists it through for a rush behind. So Hawthorne in defence. They've done a very good job this afternoon. Kick in finds Birchall. No sure to Shane Crawford coming up for number 24. What a player he's been for the Hawks. 32 years of age now. Averaging 24 disposals so far again this season. And Campbell's found some space short to Boyle on the half volley. Campbell follows it up. Interesting kick into space. Hawks have the numbers. But the bounce favours the Bombers, and they're away now. They're still alive as Peveril kicks towards James Hurd. Well, the Bombers need a goal. 29 minutes. Sorry, 29 points. Four and a half minutes into the final term. Need to get the ball rolling. Try and build some momentum. Peveril, try to get it to the back. Missed. Crowed. Wild handball straight to Lovett. Here's an opportunity for the Bombers. Lovett kicks it towards half forward. Fist this time from Gillum. Followed up by Davey. Davey, an open goal. He kicks it and puts it through. That's just what the Bombers needed. Margin back to 23 points and a ray of hope for the Bombers. Well, it's just wonderful front and square there from Davey. Got in front couple of steps and then goes bang he's very lethal around goals he knows where they are and they need a bit more like that being going straight up the middle get into attack get into attack mode take some risks
Robert Campbell has a breather. Alvin Davy has two goals, and Essendon is still alive. Hawks by 23. Mitchell just threw it on the boot. Torpedo. It was a pretty effective kick into the pocket. Franklin's there. Fisted it down. Now Franklin again. Hemmed in on the boundary line. Good tackle, Fletcher. Turnover. Now Davy. And his kick finds Jason Johnson to McVeigh. Kick couldn't find Winderlich. Birchall. Over to Ladson. And that's a shorter Good. kick. Good vision. And he's spotted up Boyle, who will line up. Kicking from about 51 metres out. And this is what Hawthorne have been able to do most of the game is when punch, Essendon yeah. have been able to they've been able to counter punch. So this is a big kick for Essendon and Hawthorne for that matter. <laughs> so Boyle's got one. Kick that in the first quarter. Have to produce his best here. Oh, the goal umpire doesn't move. So that was a beautiful kick from distance, wasn't it? Did it comfort yeah. comfortably. Got the journey easy, and the umpire did not move. Just good decision-making, good presenting. And turnovers in the middle of the ground, they really hurt nowadays. With teams so good with their possessions going forward, a turnover can really catch you out. And another footballer with a tat on the inside of the arm. Mm. Any Kevin Sheedy, some real concerns now. And it's been the story of the second half. Every time the Bombers have threatened, Hawks have had the answer. McGlynn taps it towards Sewell, and that was crude from James Hurd. So a free kick to Sewell. Mitchell run outside from Ladson. Kicks it high to the central location. McPhee couldn't handle it. Michael tries to thump it away and then gathers it at ground level. Well played by Mel Michael. McVeigh. Made Jason Johnson reach, but he was up to it. Peveril, now Dyson. They've got run through the midfield. He gives it up straight to Crawford. Oh, there's players, plenty of them inside the attacking 50. And one of them is Ben Dixon. He thought about going. Now he does. He kicks into the pocket and boils marked. Well, it's fine to run and take risks, but... And the defence did that there, but that's what catches Here it is again. Out. Here's the Dyson. Here it is. When all your players have made the play, they're now on a fence. And the forwards have stayed back and catches everybody out. <laughs> so Tim Boyle for his second goal within two minutes. He pops it through. Hawthorne out by 35. Well, Hawthorne have been very good in that in that area today their work rate has been sensational their ability to be able to turn over the ball a turn over the possession in the middle of the ground has been a feature their work on the mark they're pushing back into defense they've done all the hard things today well it's not quite game over but uh, well one more here the curtains for the Bombers. Hawks by 35 early in this final term. Boyle's now got three. Dixon's got three. Franklin's got seven. Just relentless and they're running the Hawks today. Mitchell back to Hodge. Kicks lose off the side of the Duke. Davey got clean ball but has a chance to butter up. Now, can he use it? Not a lot on offer. Forced to go backwards to Michael. Still not a lot on offer. Still not a lot on offer. Shrugs the uh, rough head tackle pretty easily. And it's a return to whence it came. Peveril. Brown's been excellent. He has had a really, really good game, Brown. There was going to be one key person for Essendon that were going to, was going to score the goals, and that was Lucas. But he's just done a wonderful job on him today. Here he is again after Stan had kicked it inside, attacking 50. Clearing kick to space beyond the wing for the Hawks. Out comes Boyle to meet it. Can he control it? Good pressure coming from Bolton. 
Boundary throw in between wing and half forward for the Hawks. And despite the fact that the Bombers got away to a flyer, after 14 minutes, it was four goals to one. Bombers led by 19 points. But Hawthorne, since that point, have really dominated proceedings. Mitchell in and under again. Sewell underrated. Vandenberg, good return from the captain to Crawford. Young has been valuable as well. Late inclusion for Chance Bateman. Oh, Tips it over the top. And Vandenberg goes back with courage. And it's Mark 40 oh, from goal. Now that could be returned. It's been it's been overturned. It's been reversed. Look at Vandenberg yell at McGlynn. Vandenberg is furious. Vandenberg gave McGlynn an awful spray. Watch it again. There's a clear mark. And McGlynn comes in here. Oh, gee. <laughs> I'm going to kick a goal. And he wasn't yes, happy about that. that. <laughs> that was his what moment in the you sun. Do that for? Fletcher finds Laycock. <laughs> the skipper's upset. He's just about to kick a goal. He almost drew a line in the sand with his <laughs> teammate. It was a stupid thing to do. And now we've got a 50, so... A touch of stupidity from the Hawks might keep Essendon in the game. Gee, it's a fair 50 too. Very generous. Here's the explanation. You ran over the mark. I whistled you back. You didn't come back. So Laycock, a must-kick goal for the Bombers. Kicking from 45 out, slight angle. He's tugged it left. So the margin, 30. Essendon runner, you heard it there, umpire McBurney. The Essendon runner was in the 50. On the mark. So Crowe with the free kick at half back. Kicks towards Crawford. Well done, Dyson. Enough pressure there. Ryder, a little clumsy. Now Sewell. Young has been very good. He loads up with that left foot of his. Kicks it long to the goal square. Franklin! Couldn't hold on that time. What about the buzz when Franklin goes around the ball at the moment with the crowd? <laughs> well, he's playing his 40th game of football today, Lance Franklin. It's been his best. He's up to the season now, 21 goals for the season. Almost be leading the goal kicking by the end of the round. Yep. I think, he, I think he'd be even. One more and he'll lead the goal kicking. Favola has 21 yep. and he is now on 21 himself. Heard at half back. Disposal 27. And his kick finds Ryder. He's got a couple of loose bombers. You've got to get it moving quickly. Lucas is a long way from home. Out wide to Monfries. He's been quiet. And he's still learning the game. Young Angus Monfries and his kick finds McVeigh. Mark McVeigh. Kicking from about 49 metres out. Kick favours the left footer. It's across the face. And that's a mark in front. Good mark by Campbell Brown. He's got a remarkable vertical leap, Campbell Brown. Looking a bit sore, Campbell Brown, but he's played a wonderful match. And uh, this is another exciting young talent for Hawthorne, Birchall. There's McGlynn, who's been berated by his skipper. <laughs> oh, he's he tries to get it back. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Give him another one, Banders. <laughs> he's got something against the captain. Well, I, I, stand, I stand to be corrected, but I think they shared a house for a while. There's really? that vertical leap from Campbell Brown. Yeah, two step he must have he won't be invited back tonight for well, a bit. He must, he must have hugged <laughs> the blankets because... Um... <laughs> Watson, Peveril... Over the top, Mark Johnson slips to Vandenberg, tackles, gives a handball now to Dyson. What will Ricky Dyson do? Kicks to a central location. John's in a good spot here. And Courtney Johns will kick from 20 metres with 
really no angle to speak of and should keep Essendon's 13th goal. Well, that's been a rare sight. The one-on-one -on -one contest, being able to carry the ball and kick it over the defence just hasn't happened for Essendon today because Hawthorne have been very disciplined in pushing numbers back. So Courtney Johns has a bit of to do off the ball as Johns comes in and kicks a goal. So the Bombers have 13, but they still trail by 29 points as we watch Ricky Dyson again. Good vision here, hard up against the line, but he brought it back to Courtney Johns, who was in a dangerous position and good body work. Notice no hands in the back there from Courtney Johns. Oh. He did it well. Textbook. Now the Bombers hanging in there. They're five goals down. Eight and a half of actual game time left as Ryder throws it on the boot. It's a floater. Johns got there first. Couldn't take the mark. Guerra caught high. No doubt about that one. Almost lost his hair. Not even the most one-eyed Essendon supporter could argue with that one. So Guerra. To Brown. And Taylor's loose at half forward. Kicks in the direction of Franklin. who worked his way oh. to the front. And it'll favour his left side. The mouth guard mouth goes into the shorts. <laughs> Share it under the arm. Franklin. Don't pretend. Go back, kick the goal. For goal number eight. This is a very tight angle. He's playing on. Franklin kicks. Oh. It's a goal! He's got eight! Burles has one out of the box. Well, seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. Ten is oh. not out of the question he does so well here because basically toe to toe held his ground against Fletcher then pushed off with one hand no, knew where the ball was coming and did it very cleverly gee what a floater Lance Franklin what a game eight goals he floated through his eighth from the angle and well he's arrived if not before now, he certainly has this afternoon as Mark Johnson hacks it towards half forward. Oh, Brown, out of midair, just tried to thump it towards the line. Only as far as Welsh. 50 from goal, Andrew Welsh. Margin 35 points. Hamble off to Lucas from just inside 60. Kicks it a long way, they'll contest in the goal square at the back. Almost a mark to Michael. And it's forced through for a behind. Quick kick in by the Hawks. Birchall takes the mark. And Lewis has run hard to receive. They've run hard all day, quarters. They've been superb in that area. Kicks to Brown. Has he got enough in the mm. tank? Oh, cleverly done, Campbell Brown. Here's Vandenberg. Gets a little handball from McGlynn. Vandenberg on the left foot. Franklin's caught behind. Fletcher went for the punch. Missed. Now Dustin will take this out. Oh, that's intentional, is it? No. <laughs> that's what pressure does to you. <laughs> yeah. Fletcher could have gone for that mark. Well, and ordinarily, he didn't. a player of his experience would have marked that. He would have, but that's what pressure does yep, to you. And absolutely. He's got eight goals when you're playing on him. You just want to clear the area. Get it out of here. I don't want it here. <laughs> lucky not to be pinged there, Fletcher. Very lucky. So a boundary throw in 52,047 here at the MCG. And I'm sure most would agree this Hawthorne side is really starting to emerge. Davey, love it. Now the run provided by Mark Johnson through the middle of the ground. Out comes big Mel Michael has been moved to full forward. He marks 45 from goal. Didn't spend too many days in the forward line for Brisbane, but did for Collingwood before he went to Brisbane. Yeah, I'll, has kicked I'll, the odd goal. 28 yeah. in his career. Yep. Thanks very much, Sam. Wouldn't write it down just yet, but <laughs> he's um, not a bad kick. 
He's a very good point kicker. From 50 metres, thank you very much. Goal to the Bombers. Well, that's a... Well, that's eventuated just for the... Mal Michael's gone forward and Lucas has gone back. That's been the major change. And that's probably the best running that we've seen from Essendon for quite a while in this game. And we're able to flow the ball through the middle of the ground and find Mal on an uncontested lead. And Lucas, there he is on picture. He's gone back and Mel Michael has pushed forward, which led to that goal, of course, for Mel. Taylor, the tap, did it nicely to Mitchell. Osborne. And there's Hawks everywhere here on members' wing. Taylor feeds it out to Crawford. Little one to Lewis, who can go on here and set up Franklin, though he goes into the pocket to Ruffhead. So Jared Ruffhead is on his correct side. He's kicked one. Franklin get on the lead here or taken ahead of Lance Franklin in the draft. Just across the face. Chad Ruffhead taken pick two in 2004. And Lance Franklin taken pick five in 2004. Fletcher at full back. Davy, some exhilarating play this afternoon from Alwyn Davy. He's thrilled this crowd of in excess of 52,000. Stanton, but it's very stop-start for the Bombers. No flow to their game whatsoever. Heard called to play on off a step. Well done by Gillum, fisting away from McPhee. In fact, it was Johns. Now Jason Johnson a chance. Montfries. Under pressure, kick inside, attacking 50. The Hawks with the numbers, and Campbell Brown waits underneath it and marks. Off to Guerra, and the Hawks, another opportunity to go forward. Jordan Lewis, not a lot to kick to. <laughs> Mark Johnson told to stop winging by one of the umpires. <laughs> Never let it bounce. Preveral and Jason Johnson, 30 disposals each for Essendon. Hurd's got 28 for the Hawks, 27 to Crawford, 23 now to Lewis. Dyson fed it out to Stanton. And he goes to Michael. we got both hands on the foot. He got the free kick. Well, there's a, an irony. The advantage is going to be paid, is it? I think it is. It's going to be a goal anyway to Essendon. I think it was Winderlich. I'm not sure who it was. We'll have to have a look at a replay. We had our eyes on Mel Michael, who was going back to take the kick for goal. Let's have a look here. So Stanton was the kicker. Michael got uh, pushed. He didn't seem to be a lot in that. And, and it was, in fact, Winderlich who slotted it home. So it's the Hawks by 23 points. Pretty quiet. This afternoon, Jason Winderlick, Winderlick averaged 22 disposals in the opening three rounds. Missed a couple of games and back and at the moment has 15. Ryder up high but beaten by Campbell in the centre. Mark Johnson fighting hard. James Hurd again around the body. Gets some penetration towards half forward but out comes Murphy. Dropped the simple chest mark. Tries to knock it forward. The Hawks have got the numbers but Winderlick fights hard. They arrive now, the Bombers. Mark Johnson, kick went about five metres. Stanton scrambles it to half towards full forward. Courtney Johns picks it up, kicks, and is way off target. Missed by a long way. Free kick to the Hawks in the back pocket. Could have made it slightly interesting. Just for the last three or four minutes. Play on, you're inside. Play on. Birchall. Ryan's McGlynn, who's learnt a valuable lesson in this last quarter. And Jordan Lewis ran 150 metres to get that ball. Now Crowd. Well, the Hawks just happy to maintain possession here in the dying minutes. 
Luke Hodge. Birchall runs hard to the wing. In fact, it's not Birchall, it's Gillum. Top boot to ball and gain another, what, well, 35, 40 metres in the end for his team, so well worked. And as the Hawks are out of danger now. They have their fourth win for the season, four and two. The Bombers will be three and three. And uh, now their last four matches against the Bombers. And the Hawks. Brown had a ripping game over to Mitchell. Looking for Roughhead against Lucas. Roughhead stuck out the mid and taken the mark. Party tricks are out now. So Roughhead from about 55. Great kick. He's got his second. Some icing on the Hawthorne cake. As I said, Ruffhead taken pick two back in 2004. Lance Franklin taken pick five. Ruffhead's played one more game, but there's enough there to show that in a long-term sense, Jared Ruffhead's going to be a very valuable player for the Hawks as well. And if uh, in five years' time, Ruffhead and Franklin are playing up forward for the Hawks, gee, it's going to be a formidable combination. And a great effort, Court, as you mentioned, the Hawks have now won the last four against the Bombers. Before that, from 1998 to 2005, the Bombers won every match between these clubs. Chance now for Taylor. Pokes it forward towards Lewis. Good fist in there by McPhee. McVeigh outnumbered. McGlynn. Rough head in there. Trying to force it forward. Umpire letting it go. McPhee. Oh, desperation. By McGlynn. Oh. Franklin. Oh, something from nothing. He's kicked eight. Nine. He's kicked nine. I've lost count. <laughs> oh, Buddy Franklin. Well, it was just one of those mauling packs. The umpires just let it go, let it go, and somehow it dribbled out to Lance Franklin, who found himself in a couple of metres of space, and he kicks and goal number nine. Happened. Well, and that's last... why it happened. Yeah. That last little lunge. <laughs> the last time a Hawthorne player kicked ten goals was the Chief, Jason Dunstall, in 1996. Gee. Well, that, I mean, we're talking the last couple of minutes of this game, and you see an effort like that by the Hawthorne, by a Hawthorne player. And that's what sets the standard for this team. And that's what they've done all day. And they've put Essendon under tremendous pressure. And Franklin has capitalised. Well, he's got nine. Now the focus goes on him. He hasn't had any gifts either, has he? I mean, he's worked hard yeah. for, for all of his goals. Been a bit lucky at times, sure, where the ball seems to have just landed in his lap. But he's been fantastic. McVeigh. Ball fell to Sewell. Young's in there. Coughs it up. Birchall. Oh, love it. Pounce, but good tackle by Birchall. Hawks win it back. Ladson to Brown to Guerra. Kick it to Buddy, the crowd yells. All 50, well, not quite 52,000. Bomber supporters won't oh. want to see it. McGlynn. McGlynn, he's looking for he's Franklin. Looking for he kicks to Franklin in the pocket. He won't get there. And Sheeds would hate having Ted kicks to get kicked against him also. So he's got two other players back there to stop it from happening. There is a buzz now, though. You can feel it in the crowd. The anticipation. Haven't seen 10 goals kicked since round seven of last year. Fraser, Geary, Lewis, the base of the pack. McGlynn fighting hard. Winderlich kept his hands free and got the handball out to Mark Johnson. Advantage call, Peveril loops the handball to Lovett. Lovett's got speed, he outpaces Taylor and Birchall. But now has to stop and wait because he hasn't got much to go to. Chips it high, straight to Trent Crow. So That's all the options he had. Uh, There's the siren. And a huge win for the Hawks. And that man has been the star. As I said earlier, a star has been born this afternoon at the MCG. Franklin has kicked nine. And the Hawks have won by 35 over their arch enemy Essendon.
Well, the Hawks at one stage trailed by 19 points in the first quarter. So it's been a pretty big turnaround as we go onto the MCG. And guess who Andrew Marr is speaking to? Yeah, well, it's great to be able to chat to him, mate. Spectacular performance today. Well done. Uh, it was good for the team to get up. Um, we knew we had to do it. Uh, we're four and two now, so we're just looking forward to the end of the season. Or the season and uh, hopefully we can get a few more wins on and uh, see what happens. I'm sure they'll all be delighted that you're talking about the team before the individual, but five goals in a quarter of footy, when was the last time you did that? Uh, it would probably be school football last time I did that, but uh, look, I was lucky to lucky to kick the goals, they fell my way, so I'm um, lucky I put them through, so it was good for the team. Just describe for us what it's like when you're in the zone like that, where everything just seems to come off. Uh, I, was, I was pretty lucky sometimes, but... I'm um, lucky they came up. It was good. It was really good, so I'm happy. And the cooperation, not only be between everybody in the team, but between the forwards inside 50, all the three and four tall blokes, you all seem to work really well in unison with one another. We've got four, four, uh, four blokes inside, inside 50, so we're working as a team and, uh, and we're all sharing a goal, so it's really good. Mate, even Essendon supporters would have enjoyed seeing what you did today. Uh, a sensational performance. Well done. Thank you. Good on you. Back to you, lads. Lance Franklin. 20 years of age, finished the day with 18 disposals, eight marks and kicked nine goals too. As Essendon, well, probably their lack of speed got fan out again today, yeah, Michael. Their, their midfield run, we know that's a strength of Hawthorns, but they got left in their wake, Essendon, and they just couldn't, they couldn't generate any run. And, and when you saw the ball spread out into the open spaces, it was the Hawthorn jumper that was getting out there before Essendon. And, Look, I congratulate uh, Lance Franklin for the, what he just said then. Um, their focus is on the team. It has been something that uh, has been tried to be installed by Clarkson over a long period of time to get that discipline in place and that team ethics in place. And, and when all the focus will be on that man this week, there will be a lot of articles written about him. Uh, he was worried about the team and, and hopefully he can continue that. Yeah, Richie Vandenberg celebrates his first game back in 2007 with a win, Hawthorne. In the end, 35 points over Essendon. Hawthorne's fourth win of season 2007 and they did it in style in the end, defeating Essendon by 35 points. The Bombers got off to a bit of a flyer in the first quarter, led by 19 points at one stage. But from uh, then on it was pretty much all Hawthorne. 2011-131 uh, to 15-6-96. The star of the show, well, it was an easy three votes today. Lance Franklin, nine goals, two. Boyle kicked three, Dixon chipped in with three and a, a couple to rough it while for the Bombers, two each to Johns. Davey, Jason Johnson, Stanton and Welsh.